Hello friends, welcome to another session on sequence and series. In the previous session, we were discussing about types of sequences and one type was uh, where the nth term is dependent on n itself, direct function of n itself. Now, we can have different types of these functions and we can see different types of sequences. So hence, what could be the possible function on n? So when it is a linear form, let's say, Okay, so one possibility is the fn is linear, that is, it is of the form of a n plus b, where n is a positive integer and a and b, a and b are real numbers. Okay, a and b are real numbers. This could be one type. Another could be quadratic, another could be quadratic, right? Quadratic form where you see uh, fn could be of this form a n squared plus b n plus c correct then there is no limit to it c could be cubic where it could be a n cube plus b n squared plus c n plus d and so on and so forth all a b c d are real numbers right so hence you could have infinite such um sequences so let's take at least you know we will be studying these three in little bit of more detail so let's take up linear form linear form so all right so let's say we have tn is equal to 3n plus 4 simple one just like that any a and b our choice 3 and 4 so what will be t1 t1 will be 3 plus 4 that is 7 t2 will be 3 into 2 plus 4 that is 10 isn't it 3 into 2 6 plus 4 10 t3 will be 3 into 3 plus 4 that is 13 and t4 is equal to 3 into 4 plus 4 that is 16 now interesting thing is if you look at these look at these two terms the common difference is or there's a difference of three which is common to all the subsequent or successive successive right successive terms this is interesting right this is interesting so is it only for in this case no so you can generalize it and see for example so you, you might question this that we have used a particular function and hence it is happening so hence let's generalize it so tn is equal to a n plus b right so what will be the next term tn plus 1 will be a and in place of n i'll write a n plus 1 plus b and if you do this exercise tn plus 1 minus tn what do we get we get a n plus a right plus b minus a n minus b you can check this out and this a n a n and b and b goes and hey hence a so a is a constant independent on independent of n okay so always the successive or difference between two consecutive terms will be a constant that is what is the learning in case of linear form isn't it and uh, we can find b also right so what is b if you if you really see b uh b could be found out from this expression so tn is equal to a n plus b isn't it so t1 will be equal to a plus b isn't it so what will be b b is t1 minus a b is t1 minus a so the new relationship could be tn is equal to a times n plus t1 minus a right this is also a linear form let's inspect few more examples of this case so let's say i have 1 3 5 7 9 11 this is clearly the difference between two consecutive term is constant and which is 2 okay so clearly the constant difference difference was if you see this tn minus tn plus 1 minus tn was a isn't it so a we will get very easily so a is what a is any tn plus 1 minus tn so that means difference of any two consecutive term 
which is anyways constant in all the cases so hence a will be simply 2 and what will be b we saw b as t1 minus a here t1 minus a what is t1 first term first term is 1 and a was 2 so 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 so dear friends in this case nth term will be given by a n plus b isn't it which is now a is 2 so 2 n minus 1 that will be the generic term for this so what did we do in this exercise we figured out we figured out the uh, expression given the sequence you can find out the nth term right so let's take an exact question on this so let's say i have 5 9 13 17 21 25 this is a sequence and what type of sequence it is the consecutive term is constant 4 difference is constant 4 4 right so all are 4 so what is this form this form is a linear form because in linear form we just learned that the tn can be expressed as a n plus b in linear form the consecutive terms will have common difference so tn is equal to a n plus b and we also learned a was equal to nothing but the common difference let me call it cd so common difference in this case is 4 and b was nothing but first term minus the common difference a which is nothing but 5 minus 4 which is 1 so now if we write the formula i will get tn is equal to 4n plus 1 4n plus 1 this should be my formula for each of the term so let's check whether it is true or not so let's say t3 is third term third term will be 4 into 3 plus 1 it should be 13 and let's check 30 third term yes indeed it is 13 what about t6 t6 should be 4 into 6 plus 1 which is 25 and yes it is 25 here see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 term is 25 so it matches right so now someone asks me give me 100th term in this sequence so i don't need to break my head onto this i will simply apply this formula and say it is 4 not 1 like that okay so that's how we can if a sequence is given whose constant or the uh, its linear type sequence that is the first layer of difference is constant then the sequence can have an expression in linear form every term can have an expression in linear form you have to just find out a and b from the given data and once you have found out you can generalize the nth term and you can find out any tn in that sequence